Well, it's been a really exciting year for riverfront development in Pittsburgh. Uh, we had the opening of South Shore Riverfront Park by Southside Works, which is a, dyna a dynamic new public space and trail connection that links the Southside Works neighborhood to the riverfront, as well as the Hot Metal Bridge and uh, eventually Great Allegheny Passage. Uh, we've also been seeing uh, tremendous progress in the reconstruction of Point State Park, which is wrapping up with the final phase, which is the reconstruction of the iconic Point State Park Fountain, which is expected to be completed in uh, late spring of 2013. And we've seen um, important trail connections and conversations and planning happening around uh, the Strip District and an exciting stretch of almost six and a half miles of riverfront uh, going up the Allegheny River and uh, touching the neighborhoods of the Strip and Lawrenceville and Highland Park. And you see some amazing conversations and planning happening around green infrastructure and stormwater management and a, an exciting next chapter for Pittsburgh's uh, riverfront reclamation. Well, for a long time, the riverfronts have been basically divorced from a lot of the interior neighborhoods, and that was because when you look at our topography as a city, the flattest parts are along the riverfronts. So uh, during our more industrial age, we had railroads and highways that basically were laid along those riverbanks that separated uh, the interior neighborhoods from the water. And now that Pittsburgh is in its current renaissance, we're making those connections down to the water and overcoming those kind of urban barriers that we put up in the earlier part of last century and moving Pittsburgh into a 21st century river city. It's really exciting progress. It's been a really remarkable year for outdoor recreation in Pittsburgh along the riverfronts. And we're right now standing at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center Riverfront Plaza, which is a really important trail connection in the riverfront park system. It connects the cultural district with the strip district. And since this opened about a year ago, you see a, a huge increase in cyclists and people ro rollerblading and skateboarding, walking their pets uh, during lunchtime and also kayaking. We have a brand new uh, water landing here for boats like the Gateway Clipper that's gonna be sailing past here in just a few minutes. So the more of these connections that are made and the more public parks that come online in Pittsburgh, it's a win-win for, for corporations who are looking to attract young professionals to the city who are looking for that sort of quality of life uh, amenities that outdoor recreation provides. It's uh, great for health and fitness of the Pittsburgh population, more people getting outdoors and being active. And ultimately it just connects our urban neighborhoods with one of our best natural resources and assets, which are these three beautiful rivers in the center of our city. Well, since it's been such a big and bold year for Pittsburgh's riverfronts, uh, it's appropriate that River Life's annual celebration, Party at the Pier, has a theme of neon and nature. Uh, the event is taking place Friday, September 7th at the North Shore Riverfront Amphitheater by Rivers Casino. And we are encouraging people to wear their, their brightest and boldest uh, neon cocktail attire for a grand celebration right at the river's edge. We have uh, two terrific co-chairs, which are Renee and Lucas Pyatt, who have been tremendous positive uh, influences in the downtown riverfront development scene and we're excited to have them leading the way with a really exciting host committee and our title sponsor of PNC Financial Services to make this a really spectacular uh, celebration for about 600 guests at uh, the North Shore uh, Riverfront Amphitheater. So tickets are on sale at partyatthepier.com and I'm sure you'll be hearing a lot more as we get closer to September 7th.